Hi guys, welcome back to Humber Koi. What do you think of that new intro? Let us know in the comments. Today, we're gonna to be speaking about microscopes. So, my Shero's been doing a bit of flicking and flashing. Last weekend, I decided to do a scrape and really struggled to find anything. Really struggled to get a good focus on the, um, on the microscope. Let me take you inside and show you what I mean. Well, we've got access to two microscopes in our house. We have one that we've had on permanent loan from Grandpa for quite some time, which is this Traveller one. I believe it was from Aldi or Lidl. It's done the job for some time, but it did have a camera that that went in here that you could watch it on your, your PC screen. But the drivers were like for Windows 98 or something like that, Windows XP, and they don't work now with um, anything more modern. It's got a few a few problems with it. Any slight movement, and it's straight out of focus. So I spent a long time trying to do scrapes last weekend. Couldn't find anything. And on a weekend, I can't go to uh, get Nikki to go to the vets, use hers. So I decided it was time to look for another one. I looked on the price of the, uh, the Apex Practitioner online and then trawled through the Facebook groups and found a local koi keeper that I'd just upgraded and was willing to sell me theirs. So let me show you what I bought. So I bought this Brunel microscope. Now it's a lot more of a professional piece of kit than what we had. Um, large focus, fine focus and the bed moves. four different um, levels of zoom and two eyepieces. So I had a go with it last weekend. Three scrapes on the Shero that was um, looking unhappy and flukes, lots of flukes. Ponds are put 12 degrees, so it's obviously that time of year that um, you start to get parasites. Some of you may remember last year we had a quarantine set up in our filter shed for the Momentaro Kahaku that we got. We did scrape that koi and it came back that it did have flukes on it. So we already had some Lernex Pro left. So we measured it out last weekend and it got a treatment last Sunday. So I'm going to give it another scrape today to see if we can find any, see if there's any eggs that have hatched or anything of the sort to see where we are to see if it needs a second treatment. Typical, there's one spot on this pond that is super hard to um, even tackle a fish and there's, as soon as you stick the net in, the one that he wants seems to know exactly that it's his turn and they go behind the backy shower. Typical. So I've got two measuring bowls. I've got my nice blue one with a tape measure in it. And for anything that's treatment or anything else related, stick it in this one here, because if I do need to walk away for a second, this one has a closing lid where they can't jump from. But he's not clamped up anymore. So let's give him a scrape and see if we can't find anything that we need to have a look at. But the gin ring is looking extraordinarily nice on this one it's very dark though so i'm not sure that you guys will get um, the benefit of that so 
So I'm just having a look now, guys, to see if I can say anything. But being able to move the slide without taking your hands off like I did on the other microscope makes life a lot, lot easier. Guys are looking happy. <sighs> Script two, couldn't find anything. I think I found a dead one on there. Um, nothing moving. So two of the koi scripts that, one that there was uh, definitely found fluke on last time. Script another one just to be safe. And it looks like it's all right. I mean, it hasn't been flicking or flashing the remainder of this week, so fingers crossed I've maybe, I've maybe caught it. Um, I will be doing a few more, keeping an eye on it, scraping it throughout the week. A couple more. I've just caught the koi widow. Oh, look at that. Cleaning air pond out. A new, is it a newt? And, um, it's a newt. We've got a newt. Oh my God. So cute. Oh, wow. My wildlife pond. Well, hey. Full of duck weed, blanket weed, and then you. Oh, that's so good. A spider. A spider <laughs> on the new. Are you buzzing out, Nick? Yeah. I'm gonna tell you. All I can do now is just monitor them. If I don't need to re-scrape now, at least I've got a nice piece of equipment at home where I can do that. It would be nice if we managed to uh, get rid of them in one go, but that's just been too hopeful, isn't it? I know last time it did take a couple of treatments, but none of them are flicking, flashing, and the uh, the one that was now isn't all clamped up and um, has scraped clean. So on the back of the last video that we did, I had a couple of real nice messages. Um, a chap called Derek messaged me regarding the Tempest video and we swapped a couple of ideas. Uh, it's really great just to uh, hear from people that have watched the videos and have their opinions, good or bad, on what's happened. And a chap that I met at Newark show called Peter uh, just messaged me out of the blue. I know I mentioned this, I was um, cleaning my Tempest last time I saw him at Newark um a different way so it was great to hear what he finally thought of the video when i spoke to him six months ago regarding it so anybody wants to contact us guys hit us up on facebook on Bukoy. there's uh, a group in there it's not got many people in there but you can contact us all the same hopefully in the next few weeks we should be able to give you a bit of an update from grandpa's house now we're having so much problem with water in there that we're, um, we'll just put a, a stop on it until it dries out a bit. We cannot pump it out fast enough to get the first few coarser bricks down. So it looks like I might have to enlist the help of a few friends um, to come on that day. I've got a, a friend that's a brickie to uh, get the few courses down so we can keep it below a certain level. Fingers. Madhouse man, he's just walking around shouting at the top of his voice. <laughs> Completely lost my train of thought. So, yep, we'll be at my dad's soon. We're looking at getting um, my mate in to lay a couple of courses down first so we can carry on from there. I've also need to pop to Wakefield Coy and have a look at that Goshki that he's holding for me. He's got a load more new stock in there. Um, just clearing quarantine, so... Definitely want to go and have a look and see what uh, what he's got. Do a bit of filming to show you guys. Thank you all very much for watching. Really appreciate everybody's comments. It's uh, so kind of you all. I'll see you on the next one.